And now it's Thursday, and I once again am solo here because I have uh, told uh, uh, E-Rock and uh, the, the crew and everything. I just don't want guests anymore. I really just don't want guests. I, I, I don't see any upside to, like, get – there are a few. There are a few people I would have on in a second. Jim Norton says he wants to be on. He's on in a second, you know. Uh, and we're setting up that very thing. Jimmy's a very busy boy. Um, but, you know, I, some other comics, you know, I'm not going to name names. Uh, but, you know, I just can't be bothered. Someone that was in a movie once, I don't know. Like, I liked that guy recently we had on that uh, had the book about uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr. there. He was good, informative. Yeah, yeah. I like um, uh, Ian. I like having Ian on. He's hilarious. I find him very fucking funny. Uh, but, you know, and then just like friends, things like that. Like Gino, you know, Gino wants to pop on or something. That's good. But like I am, I get pitched, you know what I get pitched uh, sometimes? Uh, UFC guys. I tell you, I, I love, you know, tuning in every so often and watching a good UFC battle. Just fuck, you know, punch him in the fucking head. It's great. To sit and talk with one of these guys is fucking painful. It's just painful. And then I'm all like, oh fuck, I gotta come up with I gotta come up with something to say because he's just sitting there and not and I don't have anything to talk to this fucking guy about. And some people can, you know, do that with UFC guys. They're fucking firing names off and dates of previous fights and whatever. You into that kind of thing? You know, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake will uh, hook you up. He'll hook you right up. But I could not be bothered. I just don't give a fuck about the the ins and outs of UFC. You know. Oh, that guy. Oh, what was it? Remember that? He finished, I think it was, uh, you know, three minutes, uh, 20 seconds into the fourth round with an arm bar. He tapped him out back in... Uh, 2014. Ah, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. So as far as guest, hi Neo, and Neo, Neo the cat, he could be a guest, right, boy? Where are you? I'm trying to reach over and pet him. He could be a guest, uh, but I just can't be bothered. And the, you know, I think you could tell who I like having on. As far as comics go like that, you know, up on the uh, up on the screen next to me, uh, Nick DiPaolo, of course, anytime I could be on Nick's show or Nick, Nick can be on my show. I love Nick. Funny guy. We, we get along. I, I also occasionally I'll get guests. Where I could take my uh, my show prep sheet and uh, throw it away. And that can mean two things. And there are two types of guests. One is they're going to be so entertaining and we get along so well and have the same mindset that I don't even need show prep. We're just going to talk. That's pretty much every Wednesday with Gavin because the show prep, uh, you know, I have it. And sometimes we hit on one or two things. But me and Gavin are like same wavelength. We'll just go off on a tear about something and it'll be great. Uh, so show prep not needed. The other guest is I can't do my show prep because they might be offended <laughs> or, you know, they'll get in trouble. Uh, they won't get gigs because uh, they were on my show and we were discussing things. And, and you know, because, uh, you know, let's be honest, a lot of my show preparation is about Negroes. How else am I supposed to say, oh, black people or African-Americans? Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to. I don't feel I should curtail myself to make a guest comfortable 
Uh, and I'll make a guest comfortable in, in that they can speak about whatever they want and whatnot. But I don't want to have to make myself uncomfortable in order to make the guest comfortable. So, uh, so yeah, if, if you don't see as many guests, uh, that's why. I've just had it. And this isn't kind of a new thing. Uh, it's a new thing that I'm, I'm bringing it up and I've, I've told it to, uh, well, I've told Iraq a few times. I don't want guests on Monday, you know? I was like, no guests on Monday. Because I like coming in after the weekend and doing that. And then that was kind of a prelude to no guests ever, ever. I hate guests. <laughs> but uh, like I said, very occasionally, I'll, I'll have someone on that I really uh, like and that works well with what I do. But guests for the sake of guests is like diversity for the sake of diversity. You're just ruining the actual uh, thing itself to bring something in because that uh, is what people do or it's the norm, you know? Oh, you gotta have guests, why? Cause you're doing a show. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I am one of the amazing people that do these programs and podcasts that so many other people do. Uh, but I could sit here and just talk for a, however long my show is, hour and a half, two hours, three hours, I can just fucking talk about things and then take phone calls and we will continue talking about subjects and then I'll think of something else because of what I'm talking about and we'll go in that direction. Yeah, I don't need someone else here. I don't need a co-host, I don't need a guest. That's how this shit works. <laughs> That's how amazing I am.